What's up you guys, it is Tuna for the win. Does the arcade one-up finally have some competition or is it all talk? Let's go! So it looks like At Games is entering the arcade cabinet business. I'll make sure to leave this press release down in the description, but I'll just pretty much collect all the main information in this article. Number one, they're, they're going to be releasing a full-size arcade cabinet. Um, they're going to have a great lineup of games, 350. It doesn't say it in this article, but it's now known that they're going to release 350 games on it. It's going to have customizable menus, network play, internet connectivity, leaderboards, and cloud gaming. Included the arcade net connectivity features free DLC, remote play tournament, subscription game library, and it's also going to be able to access PC game libraries. Does this mean like your Steam library? Uh, who the heck knows? So this video was taken at E3 and it's on the Ad Games Facebook page so you guys can check it out. But let's take a closer look at the control panel. We got two players, six buttons each. It comes with a trackball in the middle and two spinners. Now the spinners have been asked the quality on the Ad Games Facebook page. And at games said they spin freely, so unlike the clickly click of the arcade one-up spinners, um, they're gonna stand 66 inches tall, and they're gonna come out with two size arcades. So one I'm assuming closer to the arcade one-up size, and the 66 inch. At games also said on their Facebook page that the joysticks and buttons will be able to be switched out if you like, and also the artwork. And I'm assuming that they're actually gonna supply different artworks for these cabinets. There is also talk about Bluetooth support and light gun support, which is amazing. Now, Ad Games has a bad rep with some of their plug and plays. The earlier stuff they did pretty good, but the 16 bit, a lot of the emulation wasn't that great. So, hopefully, these cabinets are going to be able to emulate the games a lot better than some of their plug and plays. Um, the smaller cabinet's going to be selling for $3.99, and the bigger cabinet, full size, uh, the talk is $5.99. So, what do you guys think? Would you guys pick up one of these arcade cabinets? And do you think Arcade 1-Up could be in danger? If they're only going to be coming out with four games, three games per cabinet, yeah, I don't see that going well when this cabinet is going to be coming out with 350. So, what do you guys think? Make sure to leave your comment down below, thumbs up the video, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video.